Mix hatch is open, so we'll be handing you off to the closeout team for egress. Sorry we couldn't get you off today, but we'll speak to you soon and look forward to trying it again. You see here, try it again. A new space crew spending another couple nights on Earth after a ground system issue scrubbed last night's mission to the International Space Station. The highly anticipated SpaceX launch doubled as a rescue mission as well to bring two astronauts home, including <laughs> Needham native Sunita Williams, home to Needham. We miss her. I know, we really do. What else can go wrong, mm -hmm. right? So uh, now it remains up in the air on when her return to the base state may be. NBC 10's Jeff Saperstone live in the newsroom now. Jeff, Obviously, we are all rooting for Sunita to just come home. We certainly are. A lot of starts and stops in this. Possibly tomorrow this could all begin. This is just the latest setback in this ongoing mission to bring home those astronauts who have been stuck in space now for nine months. So here's what we know this morning. NASA is now targeting Friday evening as the earliest it could launch the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, which is carrying four crew members. Again, it scrubbed last night's liftoff due to a hydraulic system issue on the ground. So now what happens? Well, Needham, Sunita Williams, and fellow astronaut Butch Wilmore will have to wait even longer to come home. NASA says the spacecraft would dock with the International Space Station at 1130 on Saturday night. And then the capsule would depart the ISS no earlier than Wednesday, splashing down somewhere off the coast of Florida. Those here in Needham, they are anxiously awaiting Williams' return. We're all rooting for her, as we have been um, the entire duration of this um, ordeal. And it certainly has been an ordeal. And as we know by now, Sunita was only supposed to be in space for a week. So again, NASA says 7.03 Friday night is the next launch time. We will, of course, keep you posted. Live in the newsroom, Jeff Saperstone, NBC10 Boston.